Hello and konnichiwa. I'm Tomoko, your Japanese food ambassador. Along with my Japanese food public husband Mark, we'll make ramen today. Can Mark make it? Ramen has been very popular both in Japan and then around the globe. And the first time when we went to Japan, you actually wanted to try ramen. Why was that? Well, I figured、uh, after trying the authentic cup of noodles, I should go to the heartland and eat it for real. How was your experience there? Let's just say the cup of noodles was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, when、well, we went there, the popular place was with, based with dashi, which was really first time for me too. So. Our experience was really not very good. We couldn't eat more than two bites. As Mark said, most likely many of you viewers first experienced ramen with instant noodles. Did you have your own hack? Did you eat top ramen straight out of package? The ultimate hack is to switch dry noodles with those fresh noodles. These days, it's easy to get fresh ramen package from Asian grocery stores. Or do like we did order from Ramen District, which is an online ramen shop that ships flash freeze ramen from popular ramen shops to anywhere in continental United States. In other words, it's now easy to make chef quality ramen at home. Next, what makes ramen ramen? There are five elements one, soup stock, two, seasoning, three, noodles. Four toppings, five oil. One and two make the basic flavor of the ramen. Four and five add unique flavor and texture to the dish. Today we'll top our ramen with sauteed vegetables to make ramen a bit healthier and add more umami. Did you know ramen is one of the most umami rich dishes? This is because the broth is usually simmered with pork and chicken bones, which is basically bone broth. Then, oftentimes, they add vegetables that give broth e x t r a layer of richness. And if that wasn't enough, the seasoning itself usually contains soy sauce or miso. Which is full of umami, then add sauteed seasonal vegetable on top of it, which will create amazing umami synergy in a bowl. Today we'll do packaged ramen like this. So it's not no seafood in this, and then everything is in there. So all you need to do is boil each con things in here. Where's the cup? We don't have a cup because it's authentic and then it's. Right, where's the cup? <laughs> it's. We have the bowl. This is from Ramen District. They sell online ramen shop that sells restaurant quality ramen. Is it supposed to be this cold? It is because it comes in frozen.、Oh, okay. So let's make this ramen a little healthy, putting sauteed vegetable on top. And then the ramen tip number one. Um, make topping, all the toppings if you want to put eggs or whatever, toppings first because the ramen noodles texture is very important. And just like pasta, we don't want to overcook noodles. So let's do vegetable first. Is the pen mightier than the sword? We're about to find out. <laughs> so, first, cut the cabbage. You don't want this hard root pot. So, we're gonna cut like this way. I asked for a left handed knife. All right, gone. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's like Australia. <laughs> kind of. And then now we shred them, so. Okay, here we go. 
pretty good. Have you had those cabbage before? Usually I just cut cheese. <laughs> Hands were washed off camera. Right before I used the restroom. <laughs> Never gets old. So the next one is carrots. How would you like me that? I could rice, dice, julienne, slice. Same size as cabbage, like this. So you can Should julienne use... it. What if I shred it? No, um, you can, but the skin of the carrot has good nutrients, so we want to eat the whole thing. Try to cut it. That's the sound of a cook. <laughs> it's not pretty. No, no, no. But neither am I. It's kind of same. Kind of same. That's all I was going for. <laughs> Luckily, she set the bar really low for me. I like this shape. Why is your finger so close to where the knife is? I, I like this one. <laughs> and this one. Our insurance is paid up. I checked before this episode. They said this. All right. All right. Very good. So next one is this. Do you know what this is? Uh, I like saying shiitake. So is it that? Yes. All right. Okay. Finally, it comes in handy. For shiitake, um, let's say shiitake. 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 <laughs> I know you want to make fun of the sound of it, but shiitake. A lot of people are disappointed right now. I know. <laughs> I'm a party pooper. So this stem, um, you can actually use it for soup and such, but for this purpose, we're gonna cut them and then discard. Yep. And also we need to slice this shiitake too. Actually better than I thought it would be. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting blood and then the finger chopping, so. We bought band-aids at Costco. Yes, we did. <laughs> the big size. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. And now let's open the package. And the reason why is that most of the uh, ramen package nowadays comes with all the topping inside. And we're going to use the uh, chashu simmered pork as a seasoning of vegetable so that it gets lots of flavor to it. And we don't have to, we don't need to add additional salt and sugar and stuff. So it comes with like lots of packages. So that's the noodle. Sauce. More at the fat <laughs> soup, and that's the instruction. So you will need that. Find the uh, pork. Which one do you think is the pork? <laughs> so let's cut that up. It's already seasoned and everything. So usually you just need to warm up and then put on top, but today we're using it in a sauteed vegetable. All right. All right. So let's turn on the pan. We turn on the pan. Oh, so let's start cooking the uh, sauteed vegetable. First, oil the pan. Oil the pan. Not so much, just like once. All right. Artistically? One Artistically. One wrap. And then let's saute from the pork. I take my pork very seriously. And because it's frozen, it may splash a little bit, but don't worry. Ow! Ow! So the pork needs to be sauteed. So how do you know when the pork's done sauteing? 
Um, you As see the uh, because the folk has fat, and then the fat was white, and it will become a little translucent. And so that oil has like a folk flavor, and everything has like a nice folk flavor. And then you put the carrots and then mushroom so that they absorb the flavor too. Let's do that. Now, you ready? What do you think? In my experience, mm -hmm. this is about the time. Okay, good. Let's do that. All right, so here come the carrots. Here come the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Go! Go! And keep staying. And we cut lots of it, um, cabbage today, so maybe dump like half of it, but it's only for one person. And because the, uh, we put this one in ramen, and then ramen soup is uh, usually salty, so we don't have to season the vegetable that much. If we want to maybe pinch of salt and then a little bit of crushed black pepper, but that's about it. Would you like to add the salt? You want to maybe try a bit. Always taste, because the meat tastes different from like makers to makers of ramen. Yeah, a tiny bit of salt. Tiny bit. Like that. And maybe black pepper? One. Thank you very much. Mm. Yeah. Flavorful. Very good. So I think that's done. So let's turn that up, off and then keep that until the ramen is ready to serve. This particular one doesn't have instruction, but the first thing we do is keep it. Probably this is the soup, so let's boil this soup. Um, you can just put in the hot water like this. Are you sure without the instructions? Maybe it's supposed to be served <laughs> like that. Frozen ramen, no. And after that, we'll cook noodles. Are noodles important for ramen? Very important. <laughs> You can still have noodles. Ra men men means noodles. So, all right. So let's cook noodles. So finally, the water's boiling. Yes, it's very important to get the water boiled really fast. So now it's ready to cook the noodles. It's time for the most important ingredient, the star of the show: ramen noodles. Here we go. Leave. It for like 30 seconds don't touch it and then after that we'll just stir a little bit with the chopsticks and total possibly like a minute and a half not too long maybe a little longer but I think we can stir it is there a way to know when they're ready um, just try it five four three Two, one, happy ramen! I do want to try it and then see what's it like. Here we go. Give a little dance. Make a little love. Alright, so this has been boiling. This was frozen when we started. It's now not. Right. Looks like yeah, it's very important. <laughs> and then once you put it in there, um, kind of gently stir the noodles so that every noodle gets soup. So we want to expand the noodles. Yep. And expand. Like so we've got our toppings right here. There we go. Adding the toppings. Mark did a great job. It looks good, but we won't know if Mark can make it until we actually try. Right. Should I try it? Please. Oh, I think they give you like 
toppings that we should do. I didn't make that. I think that was my cologne. Very brown. It's called picnic number two. Now please, season to taste. More fat. Allow me, a gentleman always opens his lady's fat. Put the fat in there. So you made ramen. I made ramen, but we won't know how good it tastes until someone tries it. Alright, let me try it. Can Mark make it? How did I do? It's pretty good. Let's try the noodles and this stuff. I always do it back home. Okay. Oh wait, this is my home. Yes. Well, mm. now I know it's not as authentic as it could be without those dehydrated cubed eggs. I like those. <laughs> <laughs> so I did the best I could with what I had. Really good vegetable. I think you did a great job. All right. So can Mark make it? Can Mark make it? Yes, he can. Thank you, everyone. Can I try yours? Oh. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Enjoy, everyone.